Greetings, this is Ben Murray, founder and instructor at the SAS Academy, and welcome to the SAS in 60, where I teach the basics of a SAS metric in 60 seconds. Today's topic, the SAS magic number. The SAS magic number is a sales and marketing efficiency metric. It measures the relationship between annualized revenue growth and sales and marketing expense. So it gives us revenue growth per $1 of sales and marketing spend. So how do we calculate the SAS magic number? In the numerator, we take our current quarter's revenue minus our previous quarter's revenue and times four to annualize. And we divide that by our previous quarter's sales and marketing expense. So again, in the numerator, we are going to use recurring revenue. This is our recognized subscription revenue, not your booked or invoiced revenue. In the denominator, we have our sales and marketing expense and make sure this is fully burdened. So wages, taxes, benefits, commissions, etc. So fully burdened sales and marketing expense. So a quick example, let's say in Q2, our recurring revenue was 54,000. In Q1, it was 36,000. We take 54 minus 36, annualize it, and divide it by our sales and marketing expense in Q1 of 90. That results in a SAS magic number of 0.8. So is that good or bad? So greater than 0.75, it's yes, invest in sales and marketing. If it's less than uh, 0 0.5, you're not ready, you're inefficient, you need to tweak things first. So this equates to 75 cents of revenue growth for every dollar of sales and marketing spend. So if that's not quite intuitive, we can take the inverse of the, that, that number and put it into a caustic perspective. So a good number would be a cost a cost of less than a dollar thirty three for every dollar of revenue growth. To learn more about this metric and other metrics, check out the sasacademy.com and the sassiavo.com.